Well, we did it, ladies and gentlemen. We finished all of the uh, first three bunkers in the game, ending up with the uh, last one here in Leak Inlet. We're currently outside making a little breakfast, warming in a few teas because we have a reasonably long way to go. Hello, everybody. This is Frogman. Welcome back to the Long Dark. And, uh, well, our Tales from the Far Territory adventure that is going to be coming to a probably pause here in either this episode or the next, just depending on how long it's going to take us to get back to the Forsaken Airfield. Because we have one more thing we need to go look at. I'm not quite so certain if it's in here. I'll probably have to look. Um, wherever the, uh, the, the transmitters, all these kinds of things and stuff, it goes, what is it, J? There we go. Notice they don't say much of anything else in here, so we have to do, yeah, use prepared tra repair transmitters to network to search for Forsaken Airfield for signs of the additional bunkers. So uh, we're going to have to make our way back to Forsaken Airfield to end that story, at least for right now. But let's go ahead and, well, just make our way back towards that direction. We'll be fine. We're going to have a little bit of uh, coffee and a breakfast. So we'll have another one of those. And pick you up and, you know what, have a coffee. We've got lots and lots and lots of coffee. That's perfectly fine. I've got a ways to go. There's nothing wrong with us doing a little bit more goofing around. So, again, we're going to head back towards the airfield. I probably may, just depending on what time of day it is, once we get there, stop at the maintenance shed and broken railroad just in case we have all kinds of food and all kinds of supplies on us and i think we could probably easily just make the trip right now so i think we'll just try to enjoy it as best as possible and and see what happens so we should be getting a new update fairly soon and yeah we still need to do a little bit of exploring in the airfield there's a section of it that we left out plus in between the time that we left and, well, now, we got the cooking update, which means all of the cabins that we've been to, all of the places that we've been to, the structures, buildings, whatnot, should have food items in them. Plus, there should be another recipe in the, come on, brain, in, in the airfield, in the hangar, hopefully. So, we'll leave Bleak Inlet for another day, depending on how we want to go with this, what we're going to do afterwards. I don't know. Um, we've been at this one for, well, this is going to be, what, 81, 82 episodes, just depending on how things go. It's nothing nothing wrong. I mean, it's just the long dark. This is just kind of a game you kind of sit around and just kind of wander around and enjoy the, the quiet apocalypse, as, uh, as they like to call it. I don't really know if it's quiet, considering there are those things around and, you know, moose and bear and all those kinds of other deals, but it is definitely a, you know, serene experience at times. But let's get ourselves moving back towards, well, the end of this chapter. And we'll go ahead and just use up a bunch of these old torches while we're doing it. Oh, let's see. Do we have anything we want to leave here? I don't really think I do, actually. It was Usually I tend to leave a few flares here. We might just leave one of those for right now. I'm not really too terribly concerned about it. We have a lot of food and a lot of... We're, 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 we're fine. I was going to say we could go do a little bit of goofing around in Bleak Inlet today, but no, I think we're just going to... We're just going to go. Let's just get this going. We'll get moved on. That way, whatever we have as far as the next update is concerned will be will be fresh and ready for us to go. We won't have any other kind of uh, pending objectives. I'm assuming once the uh, once the next step goes, we're going to get some interesting things. We should, whoa, where are you going? Hey, 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 no, just get your torch before you lose it. You're fine. Once the next update drops, there's supposedly going to be a lot of quality of life and fixes and Possibly a wagon. I'm hoping so anyway. Um, did I go the wrong way? I walked into the wall. Yeah, I think I did. Yeah, downhill. Whatever. I'm losing my mind. It's fine. We'll take it. We'll just kind of wander around either way. We need to go ahead and pick up whatever little bit of coal might be in this particular zone at this time. I'm pretty sure we've walked through here, and I thought I missed one. I walked right by it. It's okay. Let's go grab that one real quick. Okay, now we're good. 
Still a little bit early in the morning for me. Not really quite woken up yet. But that's fine. We'll be okay. Anyhow. So, yeah, we're going to see what's going to happen in the next, uh, I don't know, month or so. We should be seeing an update come in, and we should be seeing a bunch of interesting stuff, hopefully. And it might be happening fairly soon, so I would kind of like to get this fairly soon. I'm going to say fairly soon. I bet it's going to be October, but who knows. Um, I would like to kind of get this one wrapped up and put someplace so that we can kind of maybe do some of the silly stuff. So, might, 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 maybe, maybe, might, might, um do a little bit of see like that's what I would have left over there and I knew we were we were kind of running through here last time because I didn't want to be dealing with timber wolves for those of you that are, you know didn't watch where we came from or didn't pay attention to that I would highly and I mean highly suggest be standing on that thing when the aurora allows you to open it up because the first time I went in there originally um, there were timber wolves standing on top of the thing so uh, it was it was a kind of a fun little battle to get to them and Aurora timber wolves are not scared of Fire and flares and the only thing they're scared of is a flashlight, which we can't really get a hold of I mean, it's a very very rare spawn, but yeah, they're definitely That's definitely the one to do either first or last either way you're I'm assuming you're supposed to do that one first and you know then do whatever's available to you but uh, I kind of wanted to do the Hush River one first because it's funner and I think actually if you pay attention to the logs and the readings that's the line that you should do them in that's chronological I believe so um, it's just you know just one of those things preferential in the way it's going on you don't need to open all of them. I mean, if you're going to just open one, I would highly suggest just open the one in Hush River, although that one is a really nice location as far as being just indoors of, of Bleak Inlet, so it's not a bad place considering that there's a, a moose reasonably close to that and, you know, possible timber wolves and a few other things. It's not a bad place, so since it's foggy, let's just kind of I guess it's not that foggy. We'll go over here and just kind of walk our way across the muskeg. See what happens. I don't know how the heck that warm-up bonus already died. I guess it did. I've managed to talk that long. So let's get out of the muskeg. We'll take this torch with us. Hopefully the fog lasts. We'll go to, go to Broken Railroad, duck into that area really quickly, maybe dump off a few things that we don't necessarily need to be carrying with us, and see if we can not get lost walking across this thing. But yeah, I don't know what we're going to do with this one. If we have a... Um, if we have a, a, a lull between updates, we might... Mike bring her back to one of the other locations and, and maybe spend a little bit of time just searching or, um, I don't know, just, just exploring. It's kind of one of those points where you know, you're, you're kind of, we're kind of playing this one uh, a little differently than I usually do because of the fact that there was a story to play with and, you know, various transmitters that we needed to fix all over the place. I mean, I suppose we could maybe start going back to the areas around maybe i'll just leave you alone uh we could start going back to the areas that we have covered with the transmitters which is everything except for the transitional zones and maybe try to find the um the the, the caches that could be something we could do it's just try to find something to do for a little bit before the next update so but we'll we'll have to see we'll we'll, we'll make that decision when we get to that point it's a still have to get all the way to the airfield Watch me get absolutely lost out here now. This is what I hate when the muskeg does this. Okay, um, I need to... This is what I hate about the muskeg, because this is why, like, say, everything looks the same, and you can run in circles. Okay, that's the hill I want. Can I get to it from here?
Okay, that is the one. This is the center rock that has the little kind of wind shelter underneath of it. We're not totally lost yet. Good. Oh, I hate the muskeg, although I can't complain about the temperature and the weather right now. It is midday and we're barely even cold. Of course, that's probably some of the torch. How warm is it? it yeah, it's almost here. If I, if I put that down, what is it? Yeah, wow, that's a big difference. Let me my torch back, thank you. Very much, good deal. That's five degrees. That's nice. Okay, all we need to do is just kind of keep this direction. One of the other tricks you can do in low visibility is you can use the corner of your screens to kind of screw with the way the resolution of the game works. It'll actually let you see a little bit further. Sometimes that's why you'll see me walking sideways like this is because I'm actually looking up there in like the top left hand corner or the top right hand corner. But we should be coming up on something usable fairly soon. Yep, there they are. Good deal. Okay. Been like a quiet, calm walk through the fog. Probably right straight into a bear. I think I'm just going to clankety clank all the way to the clankety clank all the way to wow I really missed that corner we're going to clankety clank all the way to Broken Railroad and uh, we'll see what we can do in there and then make our way into well back into the airfield I think we'll probably try to do a little bit of looting do the spot that we didn't do I know we've got some map bang to do I have something out of you thank you Free how to do it. Have a plan for how I want to do this. So, walkie walk. Alrighty then. I really love these like 100% homemade torches. Man, those things lasted forever. I can't believe how long I carried a match fire. But we, uh, we'll probably have a friendo in the way here um, that may or may not become dinner. Thank you. And let's see what we've got. I, I just wanted to swing through here really quickly to see what we had left over. So we have plenty of moose meat, bear meat. Um, still stuff laying on the floor. I did have a cooking skillet. Okay. All right. So that's what I was trying to remember is how much stuff I had left laying around here. And we had a bunch of acorns and some matches and plenty of cattail stalks. Okay. Cool. Let me, um, oh, and I got a bunch of sticks too. Good deal. Inside, please. I don't. It's been a minute. And like I said, I was trying to remember whether or not. So like this was the battery we were going to have to come get if that one up on the hill wasn't there. And that's gonna be my major concern is because we've already looted a bunch of these other things. If they decide they wanna add some more transmitters to various areas, we're gonna be kinda, you know, hurting for certain parts because we've already opened a lot of the containers. So hopefully they don't do something silly like, you know, make it so it's hard for us to get a hold of things. Indy Howe. I think all I wanted to do was just check in here real quick just to make sure, probably have some of this rotten food laying on the floor. And we will likely be coming back to this area if anything else comes along. So I'm gonna drop that corn right there. And uh, it's the only corn we're gonna get. So there's no point in, you know, letting it just, it's kind of a memento at this point. It's kind of like crackers. So I don't tend to 
use it unless I absolutely need to. I do have one rabbit pelt that I'm carrying around. What's over here? Oh! Hey! Beautiful. Light fire. We'll stop, make some water, maybe cook that... Well, I don't know, cook the rabbit. We'll see how long it takes, but we can fix our wolf coat. That's good. Uh, do I have wood in here? No, that's a different playthrough. You can have one of those, and you can make some water. And you can come over here, and you can make some water. And we're going to go ahead and fix our coat. Not that it was that bad, but... Ooh, that'll be just enough. Do I have enough time? I don't know why I'm worried about it. I just wanted to save the match. Anyhow, let's go. Nice. This pack is getting kind of heavy. It's going to be just fine, Astrid. Oh, and it went out. Nuts. Okay, well, that's fine. We don't need it right now. Actually, I think what we'll probably do, we're not tired is the problem. So we'll dump a little bit of this off. And I should have cooked some of those, but let's see. What do we have? Moose meat. Yum. And a piece of wolf. Well, we can eat that one. And I'm going to end up with two little bitty pieces because I'm a moron. Anyhow. Bottle of water right there. And. All right, cool. Since we have the time, and it's, you know, kind of it is what it is. Towards the end of the day. We'll go out over here. And I'm going to aim for one of the caves probably to sleep in. It depends. We might just walk through the night for a little while. I'm not in a humongous hurry, but I would kind of like to be in the train station shortly. Again, I might just do another walkie-walkie thingy here while we're wandering through this in the middle of the night and end at the train station, or get to the train station. I did not go through that door. What is wrong with me? Did we check this car? Oh, yes, I did. It just didn't look like I did. Huh, okay. But again, it's this is travel weather. When it's this cold or this warm, this cold. Yes, when it's this cold, go outside. When it's this warm, be walking. And we have, you know, a half an eye of stamina. I have a couple of coffees on us. We should be able to make this happen. It's going to be in the dark anyway, so we might as well just get it over with. Did I grab two guts when I did that? Yes, I did. And I have a rabbit pelt. Good. Okay, whatever. We're fine. Go, 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 go. I don't know why I did that. We're going to be taking a lantern. Our fancy lantern, which I have been lazy on and not refueled. All right, well, I guess we'll uh, we'll just do another one of those, and I will see you guys at the other end.
Alrighty, we've made it to, well, back to Transfer Pass and back to the depot area. Let's go get over here. We'll put her to bed. That was a nice long walk, as always. I get it. They want it to make you know. I want to make it feel like a trek, and it's funny. You might have even got to notice one little thing that a uh, another streamer and friend had showed us from another streamer friend content creator. So, long dark creators, long dark players, long dark players, especially interlopers, tend to find the um, <laughs> find the shortcuts and the fun things. And it's kind of some of the reason why I like to play interlopers because it's a uh, it's a different way of playing the game. It's a, it's a different mindset, I think, from everything else. Granted, once you get outfitted and geared up and you have all the tools that you need, and well, I'll just shut that off and we're just wasting stuff. Uh, once you have all the tools and stuff that you need, there's not much difference in the gameplay between Interloper and Stalker and, well, some of the other things. I mean, granted, yes, there are tons and tons and tons of wolves, and yes, everything is harder to kill and it's colder and all that stuff, but once you get that past that little bitty, you know, hump of getting over it, um, you're kind of pretty much coasting and smooth sailing, so finding little bitty shortcuts in things like what we're probably going to do up here very soon. I mean, I did want to go back along the back wall over there, but um, we may just go take the next shortcut as well. But let's get over to the depot. We'll put her to bed. I guess I can just go ahead and run it out. It's that time of night. Let's just get her down and tired. Lots of food. Everything should be good. Really kind of surprised we haven't had a blizzard yet. But we'll see. Finally, finally, all day long, an entire day of walking with no hypothermia risk. That was a beautiful day in the long dark. Just a beautiful day. <laughs> okay, whoop, wrong button. Let's see here. We shouldn't have anything major laying around here. We're just going to have a few matches and lots of cured guts because that's what we do. Don't think I did anything. Yeah, I left a bunch of acorns here. I knew that was going to happen. I probably should gather those up and take them with us to the airfield because I do know we left a, uh, a hammer there. That was kind of my reasoning for leaving a hammer there. But I think, right, there's not a whole heck of a lot of stuff here. All right, cool. Well, let's, um, well, we'll pick that up just in case we need it. And then we'll go ahead and take a nap and move on in the morning. All right, guys, I think we can probably stretch this a little bit. We made it this far, and there's no real reason to hurry. Unfortunately, I uh, kind of slept when we probably should have been walking into the airfield because, uh, well, we're going to get a guaranteed Aurora probably when we walk into the airfield, and we're going to need the Aurora to be able to find the bunker, or at least to be open, be able to open the bunker. So I think for right now, we'll call it right there. I'll uh, do a little bit of inventory management, do a couple of things. Like I said, I think we'll probably bring these along, so I might just sit here and cook these because I kind of want to try to be going into the airfield towards the end of the night so that we can find that bunker, and then we can move on to doing other things like mapping the rest of the airfield and maybe mapping this zone. I don't know. Until then, though, I will see you all later. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. Thank you.